The next day, like Pete came in and he's like looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know, it's delirious. The middle of the night, I just saw the sparkles, and, and so, so I started a little skate company called Liberace Technologies. Born Insiders exclusive. I'm I'm Mike from from Mervin Manufacturing, LibTech, Canoe, Roxy. They said you you need to pick a name, and they said try to find a name that's three or four letters so people remember it. And I was like, I had a cat at the time that my dad and I called the wildebeest. <laughs> and so I finally went, I like wildebeest, but that's really long. So I, I looked it up in World Book Encyclopedia and it said GNU. And it, it had the pronunciation new, but I went, I'm gonna call it GNU. So I, I did that. And I was just gonna be temporary for those 20 tops until I thought of a real name. And then what I didn't know Little kids would see me and they'd start singing Gary Gnu songs. <laughs> kids were all singing like Gary Gnu songs to me. I'm like, I don't know what you're doing, but, but they're singing and they would say it, Gnu, like I was saying it. Right. And so after a, a year of thinking I'm going to come up with a real name, I went, it might be the dumbest thing ever. Like the new generation all is saying the word Gnu and they all loved it. They'd all see that. And yeah. so I just kept it. Lib, Lib was, um, Lib. In 1986, live, I was living hand to mouth, right? So I, I, was, I was trying to find a way to like actually start selling some skateboards too. I was working on this honeycomb skateboard that's like aerospace, composite, vacuum bags. I was working on these prototypes late at night in the summer, you know, and in the off season. And I was trying to invent this super light honeycomb skateboard. And I had this big oven where I'd vacuum bag just like Boeing does. And you pull it out and had honeycomb that was from Boeing Surplus. I pulled it out and it was like three in the morning, it was delirious, but I wanted to wait around and I pull it out and I used a, um, a breather cloth that allows all the resin to flow, the pre-preg resin. It's kind of an aerospace process, but the breather cloth they use cost a lot of money at Boeing. I went up to Joanne Fabric and bought flower pattern. This is where the first flower pattern that we're bringing back now. Oh yeah, we saw that on the, the first top The first skateboard had a flower pattern in it. And so I peeled off the breather cloth and it left a sparkly flower pattern. And it was like three in the morning and I was looking at it, it was all sparkly in the light. And I don't remember if Liberace was still alive or just died, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> but somehow I just randomly, for no Liberace. reason, I just wrote Liberace Technologies. The next day, like Pete came in and he's like looking at it and I'm like, I don't know, it was delirious in the middle of the night, I just saw the sparkles and, and so, so I started a little skate company called Liberace Technologies. We started a new snowboard company, and that's when Pete came in. And um, we needed a name. That's when we changed the corporate name to Mervin Manufacturing. He had nothing to do with business, but he was still a good, the, the good, the good friend that, that didn't help fund it. Yeah. Um, we named it and didn't tell him. We thought we'd surprise him. We'd see it print someday. And then for a name, we did a name. It was like, we've been looking at all these skateboards that were on the wall, you know? And, that never made the market, and like, Liberace Technologies. <laughs> That's so good. And, um, and then we found out real quick, we couldn't use the name Liberace because his estate yeah. will sue you instantly. Of course. So we shortened it to Lib. I, call, I called Transworld and Snowboarder, and I said, I can't say Liberace because they'll sue us, but you can, as a journalist, you can, because they don't profit on it. Right. So I said, whatever you write about us, can you write Liberace? So for the first couple of years, they wrote Liberace. And like a lot of your new top sheets have that sparkle. So they do, like, yeah. They, 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 um, that, that one does. Yeah. Yeah, man, that one does. Guys, but some other ones that's do. Cool. I love, that's yeah. Cool yeah. So, awesome yeah, so we, we brought it back. <laughs> this is this is my request this year. They got <laughs> our, our guy that built the booth. He's like the guy that he, a guy named Julian who um, he works for us. He's from Colorado originally, but he moved out to Squim. Port Angeles and he um, he worked building snowboards for a few years, but he always knew, seemed to know too much. Yeah. And like, <laughs> turns out he's like, oh, I'm a pretty good welder. Well, turns out he's the guy that built some of the first snowboard parks in the world. He's the guy that like welded all the obstacles years ago. And so he built this booth this year, a whole thing. And he started asking me like a, about a month ago when he was getting everything ready to pack. He's like, anything else you need? And I was like, what a back scratcher. <laughs> so we got down there and he opened up the door and goes, hey Mike, here we go. It's the pinnacle. Oh, wow, wow, oh, Mike, Mike. Let's go for a little wheel, <laughs> a little wheel. Oh, a little, oh yeah. Mm. 
I think the claws are better than the wheel. Dude, dude, how to survive a trade you gotta show. Gotta bear back the wheel. <laughs> SIA 16 with Mr. Liberace Technologies himself. <laughs> to me, it feels like we're just in our infancy. Like, you know, even though we've been doing this, I've been doing it for over 30 years now. I still feel like, I still like, like, like a kid, you know, in a, in a candy store. Like, um, I can't wait. It's like, I can't wait for uh, two days from now so I can get back up in the mountain and, and ride these things and, and really that's what it's all about for us and you know everybody at Merv and like if you see the factory it's 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 really all snowboarders and skaters it really is you know we're not just saying it it really is and so I'll be back in the factory in a few days and back up in the mountain in a few days and it's fun to be here at the show because we get to see like you know all our buddies from the industry but to be honest it's it's really all about like let's just get back up on the hill and ride and, and uh, personally I've been I've been skating a lot lately, so I can't wait to get back and uh, go skating too, you know, because I've been on the road for so long, but so excited about all this product, and uh, I'm even going to put some time on our skis this winter, which I'm excited about that. Now I just got to get some boots that are comfortable. <laughs> and uh, let me leave you with this message. Always remember, no Ganoos is good. Ganoos with Gary Ganu. Fade to black, guys. Wow, my eyes. <laughs> subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Seriously, right now. What are you waiting for? In about 1980, so let's see, 1984, I started doing this full time. Snap into 85, 86, I got my first bank loan, so I was penniless. The whole first two years, it was like two boards at a time, get someone to buy two boards turn that material into two more boards. Eventually it was like three boards. You know, I, I, I could only buy like, I had 20 tops though. <laughs> 20 tops.